waterproof bags. So, we're coming up to the deadline faster than you think. Come Monday, it's one month to go. Four short weeks. After this weekend, you'll need to be eating, breathing, sleeping, dreaming. Nothing but the competition. Number of sides on a hecticon. So, this weekend, can I suggest that you do something that is totally, completely unrelated to dance? Because, as far as I'm concerned, this is the last chance you'll get to relax before the judge's final call. Well, we better make it good then. Morning trip through the islands, lunch on the beach, volleyball and snorkeling in the afternoon, home before dinner. Sounds great. And we're going in that. Hey, I know it might not look much, but this little Timmy has been like a best friend to me for years. Excellent, but does it float? Sound like that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, I'm not usually the one who deals with mechanical issues. Who normally deals with the mechanical issues? My dad. As in your dad who's in Melbourne for the weekend. As in my dad who's in Melbourne for the weekend. Well, we're not that far out. We'll just have to row back. Like with the oars. What else would you want to row with? Of course with oars. Which we don't have. Sorry. Look, I was in a hurry to get going and I, you know what? I'm gonna give Dan a call. He trains with the lifeguard so he can go get the rubber ducky and tow us in. Uh, can I borrow your phone? I left mine in the stables. Has something weird happened to you today? No reception. What are you doing? Well, unless one of you can tell me you're a stronger swimmer than me, I'm going to swim to shore and call from there. Are you sure? What if you have accidents or get cramps or something? I won't. What about sharks? Too fast for them. Seriously, guys, if I hadn't have fallen in love with dancing, I would have headed straight for the pool. All right. Two of us get to relax today. Yep. And I think I'd feel even more relaxed if the one person who knew anything about boats was actually on the boat. about four kilometers. <laughs> right, bye. <sighs> Seriously, you know how I mentioned sharks before? Well, this is where they live. Australian sharks are as big as cars, trucks even. They bite entire boats in half. Uh, no, 
I'm Michelle. It's Ali. <laughs> Ali, hi. I is Jackie there? Uh, uh, no, but I can take a message. This is really embarrassing. I, I forgot to post the registration fee for the final. The envelope's on my desk in the studio. Jackie's got the spare key, so I thought that she could drop it off at the competition office. Uh, is there any reason you can't do it? I'm in Malaysia. I flew up for a friend's birthday. Oh. It was in such a rush, it totally flipped my mind. But if a fee isn't paid by midday, you'll be disqualified. Oh. Don't worry. We're on it. Bye. You trying out for the world's daggiest look competition? Damon, I'm not... Hello? Oh, Dan, I need a favour. The girls are in the tinny just off Greens Point. Yeah, the engine's carved it. Do you think you could go pick them up? Uh, I'm not with them because I've got something else I need to do. Yeah, if you could take them back to the wharf, I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Yeah, thanks. Maybe she forgot to bring it. Like the oars and the phone. Who knows how long we're going to be out here? Any more time in the sun, we're going to look like a pair of roast chicken. Don't say things like that. What? Roast chicken? Who knows how long we'll be out here? Look, from my point of view, this is a beautiful day. We've got a brilliant view and great food. So there's nothing to be worried about. You're right. We should just relax and get into the fact that we're drifting out to sea. What do you mean, out to sea? Do you think it's OK to get a tiny bit alarmed? <sighs> It's going to be tight. today. Is it just me, or are we going nowhere? We're going nowhere. This is worse torture than anything Michelle dishes out. We're drifting further and further out. What? I think I can see the bottom. It looks like it's not even that deep. Maybe we can pull the boat to the other side. Emma, we don't know what's down there. There could be... Exactly. We don't know. But we do know what's out there. And that's a big, fat nothing. And you can drift to Africa for all I care. Okay, no point getting snappy. I was just asking. <sighs> Two minutes to spare. <sighs> hey, Dan. Found them? What do you mean they're not there? Okay. I'll meet with the wolf in 20 minutes. Here. Why didn't I take these off before I jumped in the water? 
Are you seriously asking me for an answer? <laughs> I think it's because they stole them from Ali. They don't communicate with me in the same way my socks would. You have definitely had too much sun. <laughs> Are you serious? You might be able to see where we are. And you never know your luck. You might even have phone reception up there. Come on, there's even a trap. It's you, me, and Mother Nature. Oh. You go via America? Singapore, actually. Ah, uh huh. You're very red. Yeah, well, when I'm very green from running so many kilometers, I could qualify for a triathlon. That's when I'll be worried. Are we waiting for something? idea that there was a track. This is so not a track. That was a gross exaggeration designed to get me to do something I would have had every right to say no to. Ah! Are you all right? Does it look like I'm all right? Oh. Look, I didn't know it would get this rough. Maybe we should just go back to the beach, okay? Okay. We'll wait by the boat for Ali to find us. Come on. Maybe we should call in search and rescue. The longer we leave it, the later it will get. The less light we'll have to find it. Hello? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm listening. I'm just thinking. What's to think about? Let's do one more pass. What? What do you see? What's that look like to you? It's the tinny. There's no one in that. Where's the boat? Actually, at the moment, I don't even care about the boat. Where is the lunch that was in the boat? Hello? Emma, are you with me? Where are my socks? Your socks? I put them on a piece of driftwood. Right over there, on the rocks. They're not there. The driftwood isn't there. This is all completely different. This isn't where we came in. We're in the wrong beach. The wrong beach. We must have taken the wrong path on the way down. Emma, there was no path. We must have taken the wrong slab of impenetrable bush. Well, if you want to get back into the boat, we'll have to go back up again. You know that, don't you? It's definitely yours, isn't it? It just doesn't make any sense for them to get out. We have to make the call, Ellie. If we don't do it soon, there's going to be no point in launching a search till morning. They'll be on their own all night. Just, okay. Okay, but can we go back to the wall past Loredan Headland? Why? That's a much longer way back. I know, but it was a full moon last night, which means it would have been a bigger tide. And if there's no sign, we call it in straight away. Right. 
You want anything that isn't checked, double-checked, and wrapped into a safety blanket ever feels right for you, Jackie. Oh, no. Oh, no what? I think we are meant to be on that ridge. That's where we're meant to be. Oh, this is so not fair. This is not a relaxing weekend. We're lost, Jackie, and complaining will not change a thing. So I suggest you might just try and get a serious grip on yourself. You were saying? Looks like it's still in one piece. Your short tempo threw your phone off the cliff. You know that, don't you? Well, then short tempo will just have to go down and get it. You can't be serious. You can't go down there. Hmm, there's no alternative. It's totally unsafe, totally typical. Just leap into things without thinking through the consequences. You could fall, you know. And I'm telling you right now, I am not coming down to save you on principle if you do. The only way I'm going to fall is if you blow me off balance with all your worrying. Ah! Emma? Dan? What is it? Not sure, but I want to go in and have a look. Are you okay? Say something. I think so. I don't think anything's broken. But my hands aren't great. Now the question is, were you serious when you said you weren't coming down? Because I won't be able to climb up on my own. I can't cling on to anything. If you grab onto the back of my pants, I think you might be able to drag me onto each shelf, one by one. You know how before I said I wouldn't come down there on principle? What I should have said is I wouldn't come down because I'm seriously afraid of heights. The tide's come in. It would have washed away any signs of them beaching it here. No, nah, it's them. They're here. You can't know that, Ali. Yes, I can. One of the girls. Fine. Emma borrowed them a couple of weeks ago. Emma! Glad to be enjoying my socks! Emma! They would have gone to the highest point. How can you be so sure? They're uh, pretty obsessed with phone coverage. Come on. You don't understand. I feel sick even thinking about it. The only way I can cope on the Singapore flyer is to do the periodic table in my mind till we're back on ground. You don't believe me, do you? It's not about whether I believe you. It's about the fact I'm stuck at the bottom of a cliff. And whether you're prepared to get over your fear or I'm going to be stuck down here forever. I'll throw you down a blanket and a sandwich. <sighs> Why am I friends with you again? Jackie? That's it, just slowly, slowly. Ah! Are you all right, Jackie? I can't do it. Oh, yes, you can. I can't. You can. I can't, I can't do it. Did you hear that? Atomic number of iodine. What are you doing? Come on. It's not going to work. Maybe you just don't know the answer. It's 53, all right? All right, take two steps down to that big ledge. Mm. 
What's tungsten? Transitional metal. All right, now move slowly to your right. What's the symbol for cobalt? C O. All right, now down again and two steps to your right. Why do you know all this stuff? It's the stuff the universe is made from. I wouldn't want to know it. And the next two steps are easy. Plutonium, rare earth metal. And if you can cope with looking around for a second... I'm very, very proud of you. Excellent. Life purpose achieved. You should build my heart. Well, don't get too relaxed. We've got to go all the way back up again. Please, please, somebody save me from this nightmare. Did you hear that? I heard it. Jackie! See? See what happens when you say please. <laughs> Jackie! Emma! We're down here. Are you all right? We're fine, but... My hands are hurt, and I can't climb back up on my own. Right, we'll go back to the boat and get some rope to pull you up. I've got a better idea. That's Tucker's knob. If you guys follow this galley down the hill, you'll be at the water's edge. We'll come around the boat and pick you up. OK. interrupting your weekend with a last-minute dash to get the forms in. Oh, it was no trouble at all. Really? Really. Hope you enjoyed whatever you did. What did you do? Well, you know me. Always getting my hands full of whatever's going on. Superficial wounds, healed by the finals. That's the answer I'm looking for, because this is it. The clock is ticking. We better get dancing then, right? Right. right. <laughs> 